Hey everyone, I just got through picking up one of my signs um, from a listing and had to uh, put down my second and third row <laughs> to fit it in here. Gotta love those gigantic signs. Um, but I was thinking about when I first listed this home, there were so many questions that the homeowner had and rightfully so. And so I thought, you know, I would love to give you guys kind of like a, a summary of some of my talking points when I meet with a homeowner who wants to list their home, uh, there's there's about three things that they're highly concerned about that I like to address. Fees being one of the first things because if you can get that elephant in the room out of the way and discuss it, then they can really focus on the rest of our conversation. And so, um, just kind of like a brief summary and, and I, I want to go into detail into all of these in further videos but just like a brief summary of what uh, a typical conversation looks like at a listing presentation or a meeting with someone who knows already that they want to list and they want to use me is first and foremost let's talk about our fees let's talk about what those look like the industry standard here is six percent um, in places like California, it's like 8%, which is crazy because uh, the price of real estate is already so high there. But um, anyways, uh, our industry standard here is 6%. As the listing agent, I'm responsible for paying the buyer's agent 3%. And so um, some agents will come in and they will discount their listing fee to let's say 5%. What the homeowners don't realize is sometimes what they're doing is the listing agent is taking their full 3% and they're actually discounting the buyer's agent down to 2%. And the way I know this is because um, it will be listed on MLS as a 2% buyer's uh, commission versus the industry standard of three. So let's say your house is on the market and you've got two other homes in the neighborhood that are offering the agent 3%. Um, the client doesn't know the difference. The agent can see, okay, well, um, if, if I'm gonna really try to rep for any of these, it's gonna be one that's paying me my full 3%. And so um, I would be very, very careful about when you do um, hear of an agent discounting their commission, I would ask, are you discounting the buyer's agent's commission or are you discounting yours? Because that is the last thing you wanna do is to discount the buyer's agent's commission they will not be as motivated to sell your home. And so another thing that we um, typically discuss right off the bat is like timeline. Like what does it look like? And I usually tell people, I move at your pace. I can move, I, I've taken a listing from uh, the time that they talked to me on the phone, I had it up on the MLS with professional photography within 24 hours. So I can move that quickly, but I tell everyone we'll move at your pace. So if, if you're just in the beginning stages of talking about getting your house listed, we move at your pace. We're, we'll do photography when the house is ready. We'll put it on MLS when you're ready. Um, typically in this market, I like to list on a Thursday uh, to allow for showings over the weekend and hopefully have you multiple offers by Sunday night. We make a decision Sunday night. We get it executed and sent to title on Monday. But um, we talk about timeline and um, we also talk about the condition of the home. Are there things that you need to do to get the most out of your home? And I'm always available to tell you, okay, I if it was me, I would do this, this, and this. You're gonna get an, a greater ROI by doing this and this. Um, some people just want to list it as is, and I'm fine with that too. Uh, so we usually go over those three things. Um, the paperwork is is not as um, involved as you would think. I, I think when people think of a, you know, listing their home, they see just like a stack of papers um, and this really long. Um, meeting as if you were buying you know a car from a dealership you're there for like two hours it's not like that anymore we docusign everything and uh it's not docusign the brand it's it's another form of electronic signatures but uh that part is pretty easy we go over in person kind of what's going to be in the paperwork we we you know talk about fees we talk about you know um if you want it on MLS or not, we talk about the lock box I'm gonna put on, talk about how showings are gonna work and all those types of things, which is gonna be in your paperwork. But, you know, usually the paperwork gets sent over for electronic signatures. Um, 
you know, pretty soon after our meeting and then you electronically sign those and we're off. So it's actually pretty simple, uh, but it can be very intimidating if you don't know what's coming. So I was hoping to just kind of debunk a little bit of your fears of listing a home because it can be really intimidating, especially if you haven't sold a home in a long time and you're intimidated by this market, which is why you hire a really good full-time realtor who knows the market, knows the area, and um, has good relationships with the other realtors in this area because 99% of the time, it's not going to be me bringing the buyer to your listing. I'm gonna want to represent you solely and um, there will be an agent representing the buyer. So that's usually how it works out. And so anyways, that's, that's kind of like my brief summary of what happens at a listing appointment and in further videos going forward, um, I'll break some of these things down and go into detail. That way, if you want to look at my YouTube page and you want to kind of scroll down, you can really get familiarized with every step of the process. And then by the time you meet with me, you're going to be like, oh, I've already, I've already seen that. I already know. Um, and you can feel like you have a really good grasp on what's what's coming. So that's my goal with this is to educate you guys and equip y'all with the knowledge you need to feel really good about what you're going to do. So I always feel better when I know more. Um, and then you know when you're being taken advantage of. If, if you know the process and you know what to expect um, and someone has been very transparent with you, you, you can tell almost immediately if someone is taking advantage of you. And to me, that's comforting. If I'm gonna hire someone to sell something for me, I need to know that they know more than me and I can trust them. Super important. So I would never hire a financial advisor that I didn't fully trust or that I was getting sketchy vibes from. So um, I would never expect you to hire someone uh, that didn't that didn't want to be transparent with you and wanted to take full reins and not equip you with the knowledge. That's, that's a red flag. So that's my goal here is for you to know just as much as me and for everything in between that you're not aware of, I've got your back. Um, I take care of everything from start to finish. And so anyways, I'm about to uh, hop into another meeting and get off here and I hope you guys have an incredible week. Bye.